everyone and welcome to this next video. In this lesson, we're just going to talk quickly about one of many ways to update your Git. So you may have automatic Git updates turned on, in which case you can just hit yes and it will update. If you're on a Linux box or a Mac, you may be able to run sudo apt commands or um, you know update through typical Mac update processes as well. But if you're on a Windows box and you don't do your automatic updates, or if you're on any other box and you're not doing automatic updates, you likely can run the git update command. But first you should check the version. So git dash dash version will always tell you what version you're on. Actually, it really doesn't matter because if there's an update available, it'll tell you there's an update available or not. So I'm currently on 2.43.0.windows.1 on this Windows machine. That's a couple of versions behind. We're at 2.45 at this point in the actual world of git. So what I'd like to do is update. So typically we used to run a command called git update. Now this is actually deprecated and it's going to warn me on that for Windows. So if you run git update on your machine and it also says it's deprecated and has a different git update command, it will tell you what you need so you don't have to worry. It will actually work if we let this go through, but I'm gonna stop it now because I'm gonna go ahead and run the command that they're actually suggesting we run. So since likely by the time you watch this video, git update, will be fully deprecated and it won't tell you it'll work anymore. I'm on a Windows machine, so I'm gonna do git update dash git dash four dash windows. And this will update my Windows machine. And so you can see now it's gonna go ahead and do this. It's gonna let me know if I want to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, and it will run and install to the latest version on Git. See this nice picture of the Klingon cruiser that I have on my desktop? That's a Katinga. For anyone who cares and I'll make this as big as the page again and make the text a little bigger so it's easier to see and get dash dash version will once again tell me what version I'm on now again I'm on the latest version so if I said get update dash get dash four dash windows it'll just say hey you're already on the latest version so there's not gonna be any harm if you try to run this it'll just say up to date and before I close out this video I just want to make a quick uh, caveat here and just understand that Git versions are simply just updates to the program that you're running on your machine. And Git hasn't really changed that much since its inception. I mean, the commands are almost all the same with a few exceptions. Every once in a while, there's a major update where some things happen. But if your version is, you know, two dot whatever, you're still going to be golden for the rest of this course and or three dot whatever if a version three comes out by the time you're watching this. So don't worry if the videos are at version 2.1 or 2.7 or whatever version they're at. The commands are still going to work exactly the same. And if there are commands that don't work anymore or new commands that have been added, I'll definitely cover that and add additional supplements to the course. So don't worry about the version too much. It's simply just a version of the Git that I'm currently using. And so the videos may have a different version than you have, and that won't be a problem, all right? And so that's all there is to updating Git and just a quick call out about the version of Git that you're using. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.